Hello there, my name is Plumpy, and today I'm going to be bringing you all a video going over all of my defaults and my favourites and my must-have custom content in The Sims 4. I've made this video a couple times in the past, but the last one I did was a year and a half ago now, I think. So I feel like it is time that I give you guys an update on all of my defaults and my most used custom content but of course there will be some repeats as I still have some custom content and Kaz mods from those previous videos. If you would like to download any of my favourite custom content I'll be leaving a link in the description box to a tumblr post where I always am updating my must used custom content so whenever I get a new default skin I'll update the link for example. Basically everything that I'm going to be showing you in this video is all linked there. The first thing that I want to go ahead and check out today is the More Kaz Traits Slot mod, which was created by the Pancake One and Majore Yuki. This basically just adds more trait slots in. I've already showcased this before, so I won't go too in depth about this, but it adds more trait slots for lots and all ages of sims. Next we have my Kaz background, so I use the minimalist Kaz room background by L Craze, and I really love this one, so as you can tell it comes with a mirror which you can actually see the reflection of your sim in, which is really really cool and I love the look of this because it's very laid back, the colours aren't too harsh on my eyes, I like the whites, I like the creams, I like the beige kind of colours, I think it is just so lovely on the eyes and there's also a lot of green, we have a plant here, this beautiful photo there and I just think this is a really really lovely Kaz room and I love being in creators in because this Kaz background makes me feel so homely and I feel like it's a very cosy one as well. The next mod that I want to talk about is the more Kaz columns mod. I've already talked about this in previous videos so I'm just going to quickly go over it here but this basically just adds more Kaz columns. I currently have the four Kaz columns option as I prefer that one the best but you can have up to five I believe. So if you want three you can have three, if you want five you can have five. I really love this mod and it really enhances creators in for me. Now I know this isn't technically a Kaz specific mod but I thought I'd still mention it as it does definitely help my Kaz out a lot and that is G Shade. So I use El Craze's G Shade preset and I really really love this preset. I've started turning on the MXA option which adds like tiny shadows when I'm in creator sim now and I keep everything else off though I keep off the like ones like this one which is only meant for screenshots and I keep off the bloom which is only meant for screenshots but I do keep on the MXAO because I do like to have a couple shadows in Kaz but I really love how this looks because it just really brightens up creator sim so this is how it looks with the preset on and this is how it looks without the preset on so obviously a huge difference the game feels very very bare and sad and then when I turn this on it feels super duper cozy and warm so yeah I really really love this reshade preset and it definitely does enhance my Kaz experience. Another one which I already have included so I will go over this quite quickly and that is the more presets mod. Now this mod looks like it would take up a lot of space, it actually doesn't, it takes up hardly any space and it adds a ton of new presets into your game so tons of new nose presets, lip presets, cheek presets, jaw presets, you get the idea, <laughs> you get the idea, it adds in just a lot of different new ones and I love this so much because it helps me create lots of unique sims and this is such a must in my game because without it all my sims would be looking the same and I really adore this this mod. It's definitely one of my all-time favourites and one which I will probably keep for the whole time I do play The Sims 4. The next CC that I have to showcase you today I'll actually have to take off this sim's hair and this is the Facial Asymmetry Slider by Yumia, sorry, <laughs> Lumia Sims. This is amazing so let me show you it. So if you just click on the head like you would with any kind of slider and you drag it, you can give your sims like an asymmetrical face, which, oh my god, is so amazing. Like, I was actually so excited when I first discovered this. I stopped using this for a while, but I've just recently plopped it back in my game again, and oh my god, why did I ever remove it? <laughs> I really, really love this. It's so realistic, and it gives your sims such realism into their faces. Like, you can make your sims have a very asymmetrical face, or you can do it very, 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 very subtly, where it's hardly noticeable, but it's still there. Sims just look so much more realistic and so much more unique as well. Like, this should be a thing in the game already, because sims are so symmetrical that it's kind of creepy. It's very, very creepy, so having this just is great. I love this slider. 
I did just take off all of Moon's skin details, <laughs> so they do look quite different, because now I want to go in to telling you guys about the defaults I use. I use the Water Lilies Default Skin Blend by Gloam Sims, or Gloom Sims. I really, really love this skin blend. I only actually got this default back in my game, because I had it for the whole of 2021, and then I got a new one for 2022, but now I'm going back to it in 2023 because I missed it. I just love how it looks. It kind of softens your sims faces a lot which I think is really really lovely. Sadly I can't do like a comparison to with and without the default skin but if you go to the link of the skin they'll obviously show some comparisons but I think it's really adorable and I really really love it. It also isn't just a default face skin as well. It's a default body skin so it does change the texture of the body and it also works for all ages so toddlers, children, teens, young adults, adults and elders will all get a brand new really adorable default skin. Now for the default eyes I use, I use the Pearl Eyes by Llama Loaf. I love these eyes. I'm pretty sure I've had these in my game for almost two years now. It's been quite a while. I think I got them at like the end of 2021. So it'll be two years this year and I love <laughs> these eyes so much. They're definitely like my favorite eyes in the world. I just really love how they look because they really stay true to the original kind of um, vanilla eyes that we get with The Sims 4, but they also just add something really new to it and I love how like cartoony they are and they just look like a really enhanced version of the vanilla eyes, which I don't hate the vanilla eyes but I would I obviously prefer these a hundred times more. Next is the skin tone pack that I use. I use the Bare Skin Tone Pack by Lamatis and I'm not gonna spend too long on this because I have already featured these in previous videos <laughs> of my favorite custom content but yeah I love this pack and it stayed with me for so long because it is so good. Sadly I don't think it has the it doesn't work with the sliders. It may do now. I may just need to like update it <laughs> but either way I love this skin tone pack. It's my absolute favorite and yeah I I adore it. I love it and I use it all the time. Next I have another default replacement and that is a teeth default replacement and this is by Pixidis. I really really love this default replacement. I actually forgot I had it <laughs> in my game. It was only when I was like list like making sure that the list was like up to date and stuff then I realized like oh I actually have a like a texture teeth replacement default thingy in my game and that is how good it is. Like, I didn't even notice <laughs> it was in my game. I just thought it you know came with the game and now I realize that I literally could not enjoy the sims as much. Well like I would but you know what I mean it's it really enhances my sims and yeah I love this teeth replacement. It's very very good. I'm also on the topic of teeth. I have a couple teeth packs to share with you which I adore. The first one being this mega teeth pack by Light Deficient. I love this teeth pack so very much. I've been using it for uh, probably nearly two years now. I may have included it in the last video but I adore this teeth pack. It's so cool. It comes with so many different teeth and it's so much more realistic because everybody has different teeth and this pack perfectly shows that. I also have another teeth pack by Unisim which I only recently added into my game but it has automatically become a staple because I love the teeth. They are once again very realistic, very very adorable and yeah I love this. Both of these teeth packs. Now onto the skin details, the first thing that I have to show you today are these eye bags by Tamo Sims. Pretty sure I've included these before but yeah, I love these eye bags. I really don't use any other eye bags because I love these ones and they're cute and realistic and fun. So yeah, I love these eye bags and I use them on my sims all of the time. Next, I have this lip overlay by the Peachy Fairy. I adore this lip overlay because I don't always use a skin blend. I sometimes just use my default skin. So it's nice to have this to kind of enhance my sims lips a little bit and kind of make them different looking to my other sims <laughs> when it does come to their lips. And yeah, I really love this. Next, I have a nose mask by Pixis. This one is also good because I don't always use a skin blend and this helps my sims noses look different to each other and you know sometimes you give your some a nose and you just wish you could like very like change like the shape of it but like change the shape of it with like a nose mask I suppose. <laughs> this is great for that and this is great because it, it mixes different nose textures of how the nose is looked on different skin blends so that's what I also love and yeah there's so many options they all look very unique and very different. I really really love having this nose mask in my game. 
Next, I have this Vitiligo CC by Aoshi. I really, really love this. So this is, of course, very realistic. And I haven't actually used this for a really long time. I really, really need to use this because I love having like things like CC like this in my game because it helps create more realistic sims. And I think Vitiligo is very, very beautiful. And yeah, I need to, I just realized now I'm showcasing it to you that I do need to use this a lot more because I don't use it enough as, I don't think I don't use it as much as I used to. Really really love this and helps me create more diverse and realistic sims. Also by Aoshi I have some scars. Once again this also helps me create realistic sims in my game and yeah I really really love this because it helps give my sims you know kind of brings my sims to life a lot because I think sims can tend to look very very similar kind of like models I suppose sometimes and I feel like giving my sims scars really kind of brings them to life and gives them more personality. Scars are once again realistic and I like to kind of reflect that in my sims and yeah so here is a really lovely I suppose pack of scars and yeah I, this is such a staple for me in my game. Another really really realistic skin detail or realistic piece of CC I like to have in my game is of course acne and this is by breezy trait so i do have a cu couple of like cc acne in my game because in my opinion the ones from parenthood just don't cut it <laughs> so i do like to get some custom content ones this by far is my favorite one so it's very very subtle it just has some acne around the cheeks i also have another acne here by sea slug sims i love the username by the way this is also very, very realistic and this is actually a mix of acne and like freckles and moles so whereas this is just acne right here this is like a mix of acne and moles which I do really love as I did say I think that the acne that we get with parenthood just like isn't good <laughs> in my like it's not bad but it isn't like the best so just having both of these custom content I, I really do appreciate. Next I have something which is so handy if you use any kind of custom content eyelashes and that is Remove EA Eyelashes by Kijiko. I've definitely mentioned this before I've probably been mentioning this since 2017 in my videos <laughs> I'm not going to go over it too much but it just removes the EA lashes as simple as that. Now we're out of skin deep details I did go ahead and give Moon their skin details back because they were looking a little bit bare <laughs> and I wanted to kind of add some stuff to their look to make them look a bit more unique but I do actually have some eyelashes to showcase to you today. Now first of all I have the Kajiko lashes which I've been faithful to since they came out I think. I think I got them when they first came out and I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them and I'll always love them but I've recently actually discovered two new eyelashes. We're going to begin with this one here by Twisted Cat and I really really love these eyelashes and I've been scared to try any eyelashes other than Kajiko's eyelashes mainly because I've just kind of stuck to Kajiko for so long, like no matter if I've been Max's match or Alpha, I've always stuck to Kajiko. But I told myself, you know, I need to go try some new eyelashes and I adore these ones by Twisted Cat and I found that I've been actually using them more than the Kajiko eyelashes lately, which is crazy for me. I also have this eyelash here or these eyelashes here by Miko. These I really, really love. These are a little bit more subtle compared to the Twisted Cat ones. So I usually will go for these or more of my Sims like natural eyelash look, especially this swatch here. And maybe I'll go with the Twisted Cat one if I want to make it look like my Sim has mascara on. But I really, 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 really love <laughs> my new eyelashes and I've been using these all of the time. So they're definitely a new staple in my game. Next, I do actually have some eyebrows to showcase to you today. I thought I'd include eyebrows because I discovered that I do use the same eyebrows quite a bit although I do have quite a few of them as you guys can tell that are just like two <laughs> which I use the most and they are two by Peachy Fairy now I mainly use Peachy Fairy's eyebrows a lot these ones I'm showing you here are the first ones I only actually got these ones a couple days ago but I am including them in this video because I know that I'll be using them on like the majority of my sims so I thought I'd just throw them in here I love the Peachy Fairy's eyebrows it always looks so soft and structured and I just love how they look on my sims and they really fit my taste when it comes to creating sims so most of my favorite eyebrows are by the peachy fairy here is the second pack which i have been using for a couple months now which i also really really love next i have an eye catch light slash eye highlight by pixis i think i've included this before so i won't talk about it too much but it does just add a little sparkle to your sims eye which always looks so adorable and really helps give them a unique look so yeah i really really love this eye highlight a lot another relatively new addition to my favorites is this eyeshadow here 
palette by Squee. So I really, really love this eyeshadow because it just gives my Sims eyes more depth. And I don't always use this on every single one of my Sims. This is how it looks without it. This is how it looks with the shadow. I just kind of like how it looks on certain Sims. I think it kind of makes them look kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like it just makes them look more pretty. I don't know how to explain it, but I have been using this quite a bit, hence why I thought I would include it in today's video. Last but not least, I have this nose highlight by Ojabits. I love this nose highlight. It's my ultimate favorite thing in the face paint section, I suppose. I do have a couple other highlights, but honestly, I'm so faithful to this nose highlight. I just really love how it looks. It only covers the nose and it only covers this bit here. So this line in this dot is like the only thing that it, that it covers. It doesn't add any blush. It's literally just this very subtle shine on the nose and that's it. That is exactly why I love it. I just think it just looks so pretty and nice and subtle. Of course, it does work with the sliders. You can, you know, change the saturation, the opacity, the brightness, etc. The hue. You can really just like tweak it a lot to get it perfect to your sim skin tone. I love this nose highlight. It is an ultimate favorite of mine. And yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I hope that you maybe found some new CC to add into your game today. I tried to list like all the custom content that I use the most. And I think I did do a pretty good job at listing all of it. I did include a couple more new things from last year's or 2021's my favorite CC video. So hopefully, you know, you found something new if you did watch those previous ones. And if you did enjoy, do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. We'd love to have you join the Plum family and I'll be seeing you all in the next video.